Hey, fools. T here, and I'm back with another video. And uh, uh, people's is crying. People's is crying. In. They crying in about Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, there's some dudes that are upset about Pokemon on Switch. They don't like Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, and, uh, I don't, I don't really understand. Now, you could be upset about, I guess you could be upset that this isn't the mainline Pokemon game coming this year. That one's coming next year in 2019. So, if you're a hardcore Pokemon fan who's been clamoring for a new Pokemon game and thought this was going to be the one on Switch. I understand your frustration. But at least you know that that game is coming. It's not like when we had Federation Force drop or come out or, you know, talked about on 3DS and we had no idea if we were going to get uh, another mainline Metroid game because we hadn't had one in, what was it, five years at the time. So... At least uh, Nintendo respects the fan base enough to let you know. And I think Metroid may have something to do with that. But at least they respect the Pokemon fan base enough uh, to let to let them know that, yeah, um, this isn't the mainline one. This is for the more... This is for the Pokemon Go people, basically. For the most part. And uh, the mainline full-fledged RPG Pokemon you've been waiting for is coming next year on Twitch. So at least that's a thing. And honestly, I, I don't see that many like hardcore Pokemon fans that are upset. At least none that I really know uh, are upset. Um, most of them are like, eh, well, you know, this is cool. This is not really for me, but I'll be waiting for the Pokemon game next year. Or um, actually some of them are intrigued by it. They like some of the elements of it, which I'll talk about. And uh, so they kind of like What's going on with it? Yeah, it's not a mainline meaty Pokemon game, uh, but they're happy to get this. So that's cool. And so for me, for the most part, what I'm seeing is people who aren't really Pokemon fans or people who are casually interested in Pokemon, uh, hoping that this was going to be the Pokemon game to get them to buy or to buy into Pokemon to get them to really think about and get into Pokemon. And uh, it's not that, so there's some upset, uh, some people are upset about that. Um, uh, I've talked back and forth with some of the Juices Loose crew. We've been, you know, basically uh, on the hangout, uh, chattering back and forth about it. I guess there was initial report reports that it's not online, and then there's some later that it is. Uh, that it is. So, you know, as far as that stuff goes, I would wait until we have some official like full-on news and that's probably not going to happen until e3 at this point um but uh, and then you know wait on that stuff but uh i don't think any of the guys outside of maybe uh, uh well uh, definitely terrell uh, he's more hardcore than i am i'm not i wouldn't consider myself a hardcore pokemon fan but i do enjoy pokemon i've bought uh, countless titles throughout the years. Um, I definitely took a long hiatus from Pokemon, probably mid 2000s to early 2010s. Um, I just really didn't play much Pokemon, so I kind of I'm kind of behind on a lot of the the later uh, uh, generations and whatnot. So, and I kind of I got back in basically with X and Y. So I'm a little behind, but you know I'm a Pokemon fan. I look forward to the games and uh, uh, let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. Uh, one makes a ton of damn sense. Um, and it's cool and innovative in ways to me that interest me as a, again, uh, more, I don't want to say casual because I think I'm more core than a casual fan of Pokemon. But, um, but it, the stuff that I've seen intrigues me. Uh, so let's talk about it. Like, Basically, the game was built uh, at least initially around the idea of pulling in uh, the Let's Go, or excuse me, let the Pokemon Go players into a more core setup. And so that's so uh, you have to not make this too core of a game, but you still, you know, have some core elements. Uh, 
basically this is a game where you there is some story there uh, definitely is, there's a story you walk around as with your character you walk around with your pokemon you battle um but the battling is kind of a mixture between core pokemon battling and uh the pokemon go stuff uh so you know so maybe that may not be too uh meaty enough or not meaty enough for some people but uh, again most of the people that i hear complaining about this aren't core pokemon fans so i would think this would kind of be a game for them too um and you know there was just people that um were, were expecting this crazy graphical uh departure for pokemon a uh, new wave of graphics for a pokemon game on uh, switch and I do expect that too I didn't expect that with the first game I expected the you know a jump um, but you know if you look at the history of uh, Game Freak's Pokemon games they don't go crazy with the graphics even when they get a substantial jump in power um, there was a substantial jump in power from uh, Game Boy Advance to DS and certainly DS to uh, 3DS so the games, you know, they look like Pokemon games. They, they still have a similar aesthetic uh, throughout. And like I said, I expect the next Pokemon game to be a full-fledged, like, you know, dual analog set setup, basically, where you walk around with your character. You are in a 3D world, and it's not just like a top-down kind of isometric kind of setup that we've been getting from Pokemon games. I feel like it's going to be more open, more of an... Not so full, not a crazy open world, but more... Of like, you know, kind of like with Mario Odyssey where there's areas, you know, and those areas are really open, you know, and then you, you know, jaunt around. Um, not as big as like a Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but similar in the way it's kind of uh, sex sectioned off. And it's not like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X where it was all a huge connected world. So that's what I'm expecting with that. But with this, like, the I think the graphics are very clean they look good um again it's not some crazy new art style new art setup it's not like you know pokin tournament graphics times two or anything like that but i think for this game uh especially for uh the fans that they're trying to bring in which is the pokemon go crowd which is again it's an ingenious thing to do like and Iwata talked about this before he passed. He talked about using the mobile games, the mobile space, to bring in, uh, you know, uh, more casual players, uh, mobile players into the core games on the core system, you know, on the Switch. So to me, this is right in line with that. And if you're upset that this game is coming before um, the core Pokemon game, you just got to think on those terms. It's like, well, Pokemon Go came out it blew up astronomically i think there's over what 800 million downloads uh they made a ton of money off of it uh people who are casual people who have never even played pokemon before are introduced to this world so now it's time to strike while the iron is hot you get those people to buy a switch if they don't have a switch already um if they have a switch great and you get them to oh let me buy that pokemon game i really enjoyed that on my my um you know my uh, my iphone or whatever my uh, android phone i really enjoyed that game so let me play this and get more into pokemon i've heard about pokemon my whole entire life you know a lot of these people or most of their lives have heard about it and they're like well i like pokemon go let me try to you know try to play more of the core stuff so this is kind of a bridge to that gap it's a uh a first step to get um the uh, the core or the non-core pokemon players to play the core game so this is that bridge and then you hope to bring them over into the core pokemon game which comes out in 2019 and you're not going to get them all but you want to siphon a nice you know percentage of those people over to come play those games uh to come play the more core games and then you add to the fan base because if you just if you don't like reinvigorate your fan base and keep getting new players uh, you know, that game will die. And that's one of the reasons why Nintendo games last for so long is because, um, yeah, the games are similar. You know, there's similar aesthetics, similar characters to all their games throughout history. But they do things to reinvent uh, the games, to bring in more players. And that's um, that's why they're so successful. And Pokemon is no exception. Now, I'm, you know, I've been teaching and I'm, you know, surprised that, you know, just to see new, you know, players, young kids that are still in the Pokemon. 
that are crazy into Pokemon even, and which uh, surprises me, because you know, as you grow up, you don't you you lose touch with younger people, you lose touch with the younger audience, and you don't realize that yeah, Pokemon is still a hot commodity. You I mean you see the sales, you're like you know, but you think those are Pokemon fans who've grown up with Pokemon forever, but it can't be that way because if you're selling 15, 20 million copies on one console, you got to be bringing in new players. And like I said, that's what this game is going to do. And I'm excited about it because, like, I love, to me, one of the cool things about Pokemon Go is, and I don't, I'm not always able to uh, uh, utilize or um, be able to, uh, uh, you know, I guess ha have. Uh, all the fun with the game the way I want to because of the basically the trekking nature of it um, but I always thought that was a very ingenious thing a very inclusive kind of uh, gameplay trope where you know you walk around and you it encourages people to get out and be around and walk around town and do things and I always loved that idea that the aspect of it you know where I live that's not the um, that setup isn't uh, the best because you you kind of kind of be in a city. I feel like you got to be in a city or at least a, a well uh, populated area. I live in the burbs, you know, so it's it's not um, as easy uh, for me to trek. It's not as fun, first of all, for me to trek. So um, right now, uh, but like that's what I always liked about it. I like the the uh, the innovative stuff they were doing. I felt that was innovative, and you know the AR stuff with the uh, Pokemon Go. And now that they're integrating that stuff with the Switch, like I think people are just missing the coolness of what's going on here. The app, the app being able, the app game being able to link up and hook up with a, a console game. That, that's cool innovation stuff. That That is core Nintendo stuff to a T and I love that. And you know, going further on with that is the uh, Pokeball, uh, what do they call it? Pokeball Plus, the controller. Like the minute I saw that, I was like, "Well, I'm in." Even if I, even if I didn't care <laughs> about any of the other stuff, that is gonna pull me in and make me want to play more because it's like I love the fact that it's just a Pokeball with the, and it's it's really, uh, you know, it's not like oh, this is a Pokeball and it has like traditional controls on it. It just looks like a big. Well, not that big, but it looks like a Pokeball you hold in one hand and it has the little analog stick coming out of it. And, it, you know, it looks like uh, where the uh, Pokeball opens up, that analog stick looks like the, uh, you know, I forgot what they call it. But where you open the Pokeball, basically, and then, uh, to release or to capture. And it has like glowing light and you can hear your Pokemon inside and it vibrates. And you can feel it move inside. That stuff drives me insane. I love that kind of stuff that innovative kind of quirk that only Nintendo was known for, they think, outside of the box for that kind of stuff. This game is, this game has a potential to sell more copies than any of the core Pokemon games. And I know that scares people. Oh my God, oh my God. But that's not the point. The point isn't to, to make this the new style of Pokemon. Because, you know, I think Game Freak have already said, you know, the next core game that comes out in 2019 is going to be more like, uh, you know, X and Y, more like, um, uh, more like Sun and Moon. It'll be more traditional. It's, had, it's not going to be affected in any way by um, uh, this uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee or Pokemon Go. And so your your worries about that should die because they know what they have. You know, they're not going to stop doing what worked for Pokemon. They're just adding to it and they're trying to bring in new people. And I just, people just get so freaked out. Like, oh my God, it's going to change the way Pokemon games are forever. No, it's not doing that. They're trying to bring people in and change their idea of what Pokemon is. And, you know, what they're, at least not what they're, current relation to Pokemon is, which is Pokemon Go. They're trying to bring them into a, a more core game with Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, um, which is based, I mean, it is a kind of a soft remake of Pokemon Yellow and Red, and they're, so it's kind of, it's based in core elements. It's, it's just a little bit more casualized for that Pokemon Go crowd, and so they're trying to bring those guys in and then make them graduate to Pokemon 2019, and that's genius. It is genius. And I believe this game has a chance of selling more 
uh, than the core games. And like I said, I know that scares people, but it's that doesn't mean this is what they're gonna do for Pokemon going ahead. Even if this thing sold 20 million copies, um, they may continue making uh, Let's Go type of games, but you're still gonna get core games generation with new generations. Uh, what are we on, Gen 8 now? Or we're heading into Gen 8 or Gen 9? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm not completely attached uh, to every Pokemon game and the generations and all that, but like this is a cool thing. This is only going to reinvigorate Pokemon, only going to bring in new revenue, new uh, alleyways. And this game, uh, Pokemon Go and Let's Go, is spawning one of the coolest controllers I've ever seen in the uh, Pokeball uh, Plus. So that is a win. This game is a win-win all around, and there should be no worries from what I see um, going forward. Like if this was, you know, like I said, if there was no announcement about there being a core Pokemon game coming in 2019, a more traditional Pokemon game, what we all expect, then you could worry a little bit. Um, but it's really cool to see Nintendo conscious enough to say or to realize that they have to tell us, you know, yeah, this is, you know, not the traditional game. You know, this isn't, you know, Metroid Prime, uh, what was it, uh, Federation Force. Uh, with that, they didn't tell us that the core po or the Pokemon, they didn't tell us that the core Metroid game was coming. And so now they're conscious. They realize they saw the backlash. And they realize, wait, we gotta let these people know that this isn't <laughs> this isn't the next Pokemon game. This is just a stopgap, a um, a bridge gap uh, for the, the casual people. So when the next Pokemon game comes out, it sells ridiculous gangbusters, and Pokemon is reinvigorated, and its uh, future is insured for another twenty years. You know, so yeah. So people, calm down, calm down. Um, you know, maybe this isn't the game for. I feel like this is the game, though, for people who are on the fence about Pokemon, who aren't core Pokemon fans, who don't, who are maybe looking for something to get them into Pokemon. I feel like this is a game that can do it. You know, I don't know. I feel like it's a cool thing all around. Very innovative. Obviously, the pre-orders are selling really well. Nintendo stock shot up, of course, because this is a genius stroke, and I see it as nothing other than that. So. You know, there were a lot of videos. I kind of waited because there were so many videos coming out, basically, quote unquote, defending this move. I, why does this need defending? I don't think this needs defending. Maybe this needs further explanation from people who aren't, like I said, core fans or even to some of the core fans who are freaking out like this is going to replace their game. You know, it's not. <laughs> Chill out. Calm down. Um, this is icing on that cake. So, yeah, that's my spiel on it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what do you think uh, this means for Pokemon? Are you happy to see this game? I just want to get my hands on that Pokeball Plus. I tweeted that out <laughs> right right away when I saw it. I was like, oh, this game is already worth it just because of the controller for me. But it does look fun. It does look cool. I like the innovative stuff it's doing, the connectivity with your uh, the smartphone app. Now I'm going to start using my smartphone app more because, you know, I want to have a nice stock and be ready to go when the game comes out so win-win for me i'm gonna enjoy it so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you as always for watching and listening and i'll see you fools next time peace out ah it can't move